we're good to go now. So let's kick this off. Uh, I'm going to load my game. So let's talk a little bit about this run before we jump right into it. So this is Mega Man 11 Superhero Mode, which is the hardest difficulty, and Buster Mostly. Buster Mostly means that I'll be using Buster only for bosses, but I may use abilities in stage, just because this is also my first playthrough of this game. <laughs> so I haven't watched this game before in any capacity. Um, that makes this very interesting. For me because I'm coming into it with no prior knowledge and as you can see I've beaten two bosses uh, I usually try to do one boss per stream or one boss per session at least uh, looking at we beat acid man and block and blast man I guess I'm gonna take on block man or I could go or I could just keep going down let's uh Let's take on Bounce Man. I'll just go in the circle. I think last time I was going alphabetically, but I think going in the circle is more satisfying to watch. So, Bounce Man. Like I said, this is my first playthrough. So I have... Oh, this is... This is interesting. Alright. Uh, I have Auto Charge on. Mostly because, like... It's, it is more painful to not have auto charge on, like physically, than it is to just leave it on. We, a, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Uh, speed gear. I'm trying to remember what my controls are, because I actually have like slightly weird controls. Oh, there's my roll. Uh, what I mean by slightly weird controls is I remapped a lot of my controls uh, to make it a little easier on my wrist because I never want to have carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel would be a bad idea. All right, come on. Uh, I think. Cool, that works. It may seem weird that it's like, oh man, why did you think to do that? And I was like, well, you know, maybe he just wants to give you a hand. Oh no. <laughs> the game punished me by launching me away from my goal. All right. It's actually kind of weird auto bouncing. Like, Oh no. Uh, when you auto bounce, it's hard to figure out the timing for things. Ow. Okay. Hey. Can I? I feel like I should be able to make that without having to wait. Um, kind of keeping with the theme of how I do things. Uh, I'm always interested in what kind of speedrun potential a game may have. And. Mega Man is no different. I definitely consider, is this game like speedrunnable? <laughs> or something I may want to speedrun. Ow. I don't even need that. Hey, look at that. There we go. All right. It's actually kind of funny that there are all these mechanics, because I feel like these have been used in other Mega Man games. Ow. Uh, I want to say Mega Man... Oh, which one is it? Mega Man... Oh, I was about to say Mega Man 11, and I know that's not the right answer here. Oh, wait. Up here. And then up here. I guess there was supposed to be something there. But on Superhero, you don't actually get like all the other items. That was weak. What was that? <laughs> You're supposed to slap me, bro. Give me a hand. Do I have to jump? All right. I may be missing something entirely here. Hold on. Uh, 
All right. You know what? I have learned from my mistakes. We will just use Rush. <laughs> froggy. Oh, no, not Froggy. Oh, no, not Froggy. All right. So this is where Buster mostly starts to come in because um, this is a great example of where you'll see that I'm only using Buster. Come on. Because it's a mini boss and mini bosses are bosses for all intents and purposes. Oh, no. All right. Thankfully, this boss's patterns are actually pretty easy. Oh, oh, oh. I should use my gears more. Just thinking about it a little bit. Um, uh, I feel like I should be dodging that, but I don't need to, so I end up not doing it. Oh no. Hey! It came fireworks. And that's a checkpoint for us. Oh no. Uh, I don't know if those balloons hurt, but I usually assume that things hurt in this game. And a very common Mega Man trope is to have something jump out of pits at you. So, got my eyes peeled. Because there are... There are unhappy elements everywhere in these games. Uh, <laughs> at the last minute, I was sitting there just like, I actually get the feeling this was put in place to kill me, not to help me. <laughs> it's just one of those feelings you have, like, is that is that there to help me? Was the game being kind or was the game trying to screw me? I wish I had thought about it a little bit more before the game actually managed to screw me. Oop. Almost got me again. But that's okay. That is always okay. Okay, I need this guy to show up again. Because he's going to show up when I go over. No! Whatever, it's fine. It's safe now. Alright, for this... No! <laughs> That was so silly on my part, too. It's like, super obvious that, you know, maybe... Oh, come on. But yeah, it's super obvious in that case that um, the enemy was going to shoot right when I didn't want them to shoot. Instead of when it would help me. Uh, I dodged it. <laughs> I always hit the trigger there. But, uh... Yeah, there are some obvious ones that I should really pick up on. Alright. There we go. Hey, Nice. We're making actually really good progress. I still don't know what that Eddie thing is. Uh, it looks like Eddie, but I know it's not Eddie. Alright. One trick in Mega Man games. Uh, climbing ladders is slow and annoying. So do it as little as possible. Oh. Oops. Wait. Wait. Alright. The trick to this room is probably that you want to shoot things early. You don't actually need to shoot them with charge shots. Oh. Oh. Ah. Chaos. Wait. Do I even need all this? Why am I doing... Oh, no. You can... I know you can make that jump. We are going to make this jump. Ow. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's take it a little safe. Alright. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Alright. A little rough. A little rough. Uh, keep away. Bouncing enemies are always so weird. Something that you're never really ready for is something that is like when an enemy moves in a way that doesn't feel standard. Uh, 
it's always going to catch you off just a little bit. Alright. Oh no. Alright. Uh, I need to clear some of this. Because those balloons are going to hurt a lot. Hey, got him. Alright. It's, uh... Ah, oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> no. It's kind of convenient that you don't need to do much to get up here. No. Great. I feel like this level is, like, really easy to get frustrated with. Ooh. Alright, so if you release the button, you'll go down. Which is actually really intuitive. That's, uh... Mega Man games are really good at being intuitive for your for design. Like, I don't know. They'll teach you things in relatively safe ways because you have you usually have good space to explore. Um, I don't know. You have a good space to explore the mechanics, and the level kind of challenges you to really understand. Okay, I need to get a better angle on this. The level tries to challenge you to understand how to use them. As you can see, I am failing miserably. But that's okay. Alright, I think I want to go this way. Oh no! Uh, why? <laughs> I have one HP. And what's going to kill me is not the room, but my own sanity. <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on. Uh, it's just like minor movement issue where I'm just moving slightly off too early. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> Why? Uh, I just need to hit up. And I was like, oh wait, I can get a little higher before I hit up. Remember, kids, speedrunner mentality causes you to suffer. Because <laughs> speedrunners are excellent at suffering through things they love. Ooh. All right. Uh, oh no. It's a bouncy frog. I knew I was dead immediately. It was bouncy and I had to deal with the frog. <laughs> of course, my first thought is, well, I'll just slide under it. And then it's like, wait, I'm not on the ground. <laughs> I can't slide under that. All right. Nice timing. I can't believe, I can't believe I made the mistake. Like, literally the mistake I said that I shouldn't make. Alright. Excellent. Look at that. We're learning. We got through this room smoothly. I'm going to wait for this guy to just disappear. And, yeah. Alright. So you may have noticed that I have a lot of lives. I started this with, like, nine lives. Um, main reason for that is superhero mode gives- oh, that made me really sad just now. Alright. Uh, superhero mode means that you can't pick up any other- hold on. Alright, got out of that. That was the annoying room, because this one I can just kind of spam the buster and not worry about. Um, so superhero mode gives you- Basically, enemies have the most HP they can. Um, Mega Man can't pick up health pickups, or any pickups, to be honest, except for bolts. So with bolts, though, you can buy a lot of stuff that you'd need. Okay, I need to clear those. I'll have to clear them from over here. I'll clear them this way. Um, but yeah, so you don't... You don't have the option to get a lot of the stuff that you used to get, or that you're used to, like, you know, uh, weapon pickups. So you can see my rush energy is low, um, health pickups, lives, etc. You just can't get any of those. So in exchange, you get massive amounts of bolts, and you can use those to buy other things that you may need. Uh, so you may see empty spaces like over here in the left side, that's an empty space. There was probably something there that was worth picking up, but you can't get it because it doesn't exist in Superhero. So what you end up with instead is um, lots of lives. 
lots of bolts, and the ability to buy a lot of the E-tanks and weapon energy tanks that you need. Um, as you can see, I don't have any E-tanks. That may have been a poor idea. Maybe. Uh, but you do also get parts really easily. And parts are nice because they can... They don't break the game, but they add a lot of little niceties. Like, auto charge, really nice to have. Saves your wrist, because you don't have to hold a button down all the time. So it makes it easier to do platforming as well. And there's almost never a bad time to have a charged Buster shot. Uh, Buster Plus, you know, makes your shot a bit bigger. Quality of life. Shock Absorber, I don't... Honestly, I don't know if Shock Absorber helps, but I might as well have it on. Because saving frames saves lives. <laughs> Alright. This is going to be... Oh... Okay. I know how we do this now. We No. This is this is like harder, but it's just a matter of changing your perspective. Oh, you know, the bouncy things that come out of this are going to be super annoying. Oh no. Oh no. I got, like, no damage in there. Oh. I need to stay away from him on that, too. Oof. That was close. I felt the- I felt the clench. Alright, I couldn't get that, but that's okay. Ow. I should get a checkpoint after this, so I'm not, like, super concerned as long as I win the fight. Hey, Got him. Got him and got us some fireworks. So yeah, we got the save point here, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to hope this works. Hey, it worked. Uh, that one is going to work as well. It should knock us in the right direction. There we go. See, this is actually a really good example of a room that teaches you how to play as you play it. Because it shows you, hey, you can, ca you can cover gaps with these. And it gives you a very safe environment to try it out. Uh, well, okay, relatively safe. Because... You could very easily die there. <laughs> so, you know, it's a relatively safe environment to try it out in. No! Okay. This is also another good example here. Like, you have this whole area, and it's not, like, super safe, right? There's some... It tells you you don't want to fall by showing you the ground tracer thing that will hurt you, uh, but gives you a safe place where even if you fail up front, you still have an opportunity to, you know, try again and figure things out. Uh, these enemies are always annoying. Oh no! Now though, it's dangerous. Alright, well now it's super dangerous because I also have no HP. So I need to bait this guy out. And then bounce. Bounce, uh, bounce. Okay. Then you make it across. And, like, that's your easy mode. That's there to teach you, hey, this is how you should do things. And then this one is here to kind of force you to do it well. Looks like there was something that would have ended up behind you there. Alright. Let's see how far we can make it. Um, <laughs> we are, like, kind of low on HP. By kind of low, I mean really low on HP, to the point where it isn't out of the question for us to just die, because I did something silly like that. <laughs> oh, oh, hit the panic button, everyone. All right. Ooh. Oh, no. All right. I feel like I pulled that Um <laughs> But boy, was I ever climbing hard. All right, this should be safe. Oh, hey, I did it. Um, 
This is not safe, though. This is very not safe. Oh, no. Uh... Do I... You know what I do? We do this. Did I get it? Nope. Got it that time. All right. Let's, uh... Let's take a look at some things. You can see what I'm trying to do here, right? I'm just trying to clear the way for us. Because now we're up here. Look at that. Strategy. Oh, no. <laughs> the boss door is there. We just need to get past one enemy to do it. Can I bait you further? Oh, no. Okay. Let's do it this way. Let's do it like this. Oh, no. I'm feeling like major clench. This game also is not against like ambushing you at random times. So sometimes it's a little it's a little sketchy. All right. So we have six lives. Let's be real. We have five lives because we're probably going to lose this one very quickly. I'm not going to use I don't use boss abilities for any of these fights. So uh, it will be Buster, Power Gear and Speed Gear. That's all we have at our disposal. I'm going to go into this one and we are going to see how it goes. I think those are the only way that's the only way I can really put it. All right. Did you say let's get coming? All right. So bounce man bounces. Um, that's some incredible insight that we could never have gotten until we saw bounce man. Bounce man also punches, which isn't surprising, but actually is insightful to some degree. I usually try to avoid, or I usually find myself not really using um, the abilities that I have at my disposal. Oh no! All right. So bounce man also uh, bounces more or less based on how you shoot bounce man. Oh, jeez. Okay. That was rough. Ooh. Okay, we have four lives left. Um, let's think about this. And while let's think about this, it's really, I need to hit speed gear and really abuse speed gear to avoid damage. That seems like the safe bet. Because, like, your, your buster actually does good damage here. Oops. Alright. Oops. Oh man. Oops. I ate that. No, no. Oh! So salty. We were so close. <laughs> we were so close on that one. Um, so yeah, speed gear helps a lot. Bounce fan isn't invincible at any point, which is actually really useful. A new appointment. Bounce fan has a pretty cute way of talking, if we're going to be honest. All right. Okay, we're safe there. Oops, I just ate that. Oops. All right. Let's not get hit by that one. Ow. Kind of sucks to get hit, but what can you do? Oh no. Oh, that sucks. It's kind of like getting away from me by the end of the fight. How many lives do we have? Two? Three-ish. But yeah, it's uh, it rapidly gets away from me, which isn't great. Although, it's not a hard fight, so I don't think it's going to be an issue to get through this. Ow. Alright. Okay. Ah, uh, I can't react fast enough. Oops. 
it's funny because I like did everything right for that, but I. Oh no! All right, I'm just going to do that. Hey, we got it! <laughs> nice. Uh, so what happened there was like I was totally losing the plot on how to on how to dodge, and then I made a guess that I could like I was able to react in time to a punch, slow down, and slide under it. But then I thought, oh, it will be fine if I just jump up afterwards and shoot. And that was not the case. <laughs> so that was a little risky. But we now have Bounce Man's weapon and Bounce Man down. Damn. So I'm going to give it a try because, oops, why not? This reminds me of like a significantly less effective... Uh, which one was it? Metal Gear? Uh, what is... What happens if we charge it? Or I guess not charge it, but just power gear it. I thought you could charge these. Maybe I'm just... Or maybe this one just doesn't have a charge, it just spreads everywhere. Alright. That's fine then. 